How's it going, philosopher fans? As I said in our episode about Kant, I will be going to the Edinburgh Fringe shortly to perform stand-up comedy, so there will be a three-week gap between episodes this time. But I thought that I'd leave you guys with a little philosophical question just to keep your brains warmed up until we come back. The issue is this. Suppose two people, A and B, go to a bar and get drunk, and then they both decide to drive home. Now, for all intents and purposes, their situations are similar. They both drive the same kind of cars, they both have the same amount to drink, and they're both driving over the same distance, and so on. The difference is that as driver A is driving, a child runs out in front of the car. Driver A is too drunk to stop the car in time, and tragedy strikes. Meanwhile, driver B makes it home without incident. Now ask yourself this question. Who is morally worse? Take a few seconds to think about it. Okay, so I'm willing to bet that a lot of you thought that driver A was the worst person here. Driver A's negligence caused someone harm. They impacted the world in a negative way. Driver B is still a bit of an asshole for putting people at risk, but luckily, he didn't hurt anybody. But that's just the thing. Luckily, nobody got hurt. The fact that a child ran out in front of the car was a matter of luck. Bad luck. Yes, driver A wasn't able to stop the car in time, but the child being there wasn't in their control. We normally have a strong intuition that things that aren't in your control can't be a matter of morality for you. That's why when your mum used to punish you for something that your brother did and you didn't do, you felt a rising surge of anger against injustice. Kant had a famous aphorism, ought implies can. That is to say, if you ought to do something, it must be the case that you can do it. Things that aren't in your control are not a matter of moral significance for you. So driver A must be morally equivalent to driver B. But driver A killed somebody, and driver B didn't. This is called the problem of moral luck, and it is your project for the next three weeks. What do you think? Are driver A and driver B on similar moral footings here? And does similar moral footings necessarily mean that they deserve similar punishments? Leave comments with all your suggestions in them, and we'll take a look when we come back. If you enjoyed the show, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Lots and lots of love to all you philosophers fans out there. Thank you very much for watching. Wish me lots of luck for the Edinburgh Fringe, and I will see you all when I get back. Bye!